good morning everyone i am sudha sarangi and today i am going to teach you about road maintenance so in the previous class we have studied about the road drainage and today we are going to study about the road maintenance okay so the highway maintenance involves assessment of road condition diagnosis of road problems and adopting the most appropriate maintenance stick so pre preserve the road in its originally constructed condition project adjacent resources and user safety and provide efficient convenient travel along the route unfortunately maintenance is often neglected or improperly performed resulting in rapid deterioration of the road and and eventual failure from both climatic and vehicle use impacts so there are various causes of pavement failure like some of the general pavement failures that need maintenance measures like uh, defect in the quality of material used defect in the construction method and quality control during construction inadequate surface and subsurface drainage system resulting in water stagnation blockage of water in the subgrade or in the pavement layers environmental factors including heavy rainfall soil erosion high ground table ground water table so these are the various causes of pavement failure so road maintenance component the various road maintenance function includes surface maintenance road side and drainage maintenance shoulder and approaches maintenance snow and ice control bridges maintenance traffic service maintenance management system okay so factors to be included in the maintenance management system are field survey for maintenance requirement estimation of rate of deterioration of pavement third is funds available fourth is <coughs> factors influencing influencing maintenance such as climate drainage system etc so there are various types of pavement failures mainly we are considering two types of failure first one is failure in flexible pavement and the second one is failure in rigid pavement okay so common types of road failures are again distinguished into four that is failure in subgrade failure in sub base or base course causes of premature failure common flexible pavement failure and distresses so causes failure in flexible pavement it is it is defined by localized depressions the depressions are normally followed by rising or lifting in the surrounding area and ultimately leads to the formation of wavy surface the localized depression may be developed due to due to the failure in any one component of the flexible pavement like failure in subgrade following are the two reasons for failure of subgrade layers excessive stress application if the pavement thickness is inadequate or the loads are excess than the design speed value then the excessive stress development will occur hence it harms the subgrade soil as load repetition increases next is in adequate stability the resistance of deformation under the stress known as stability it develops due to the inherent weakness of soil itself next is failure in sub base or base course the main reason which contribute to the sub base or base layer are inadequate strength inadequate wearing course lack of lateral confinement pressure loss of finding binding action use of inferior or low quality material so in adequate strength means the in the poor mix proportion 
or inadequate thickness of pavement leading to lack of stability next is inadequate wearing course the inadequate thickness or the absence of wearing course leads to the failure of pavement due to climate or traffic third one is lack of lateral confinement pressure absence of lateral confinement may cause spraying or granular materials on the axons of traffic next is loss of binding action repetition of wheel loads to the movement of aggregates causing lack of binding action leading to instability of the layer and the last one is use of inferior or low quality material lack of standard quality of material affects the structural behavior of the pavement okay so these are the major factors or major reasons for failures in sub base or base course next is causes a premature failure before going to this i'm just want to tell you that failure in wearing course like the reasons for the failure of wearing course is lack of proper mix design and lack of quality control okay common flexible pavement failure distresses cause of failure in rigid pavement okay these are the examples of common flexible pavement failures so causes of failure in rigid pavement following the two main factors which are responsible for failure in rigid pavement first one is deficiency of pavement material structural inadequacy so the various defects of rigid pavement are due to poor workmanship Uh, use of soft aggregates poor surface finishes improving curing etc what is structural inadequacy if the pavement is structurally unstable such as inadequate pavement thickness subgrade support etc then it develops failure like sub cracking at the corner maintenance of bitumen roof the maintenance work of bituminous surface can be categorized as patch repairs and resurfacing so what is patch repairs the localized depression causes potholes and the patch repairs involve the following operations like marking the patches cutting and digging filling the holes ramming sand covering resurfacing etc so patch repair is what this consists of patching up of pot holes and localized failures and may be up to about 25% of the surface area annually for patching sand premix open grade premix or dense graded premix or penetration patching may be adopted so marking the patches that means the damaged surface area of the road are marked in rectangular shape next is cutting and digging the marked portion is then excavated and the holes so formed are cleared and uh, and uh, after the holes are so formed then primers are applied next is filling the hole in case of pre mixed pavement the excavation is filled with pre mixed bituminous concrete in case of penetrating type bituminous concrete filled with stones and then hot bitumen is powered poured to fill the voids next is ramming the filled material is hand operated by iron rammers or tamping bars and the last one is sand covering a layer of sand is sprinkled over the finished surface and the new repaired surface is opened to traffic after a period of one day so this is all about our patch repairs okay next is surface treatment or resurfacing the aim of surface treatment may be renewal of the surface course when patch repair becomes uneconomical it may also b to improve skid resistance when the surface is worn out badly 
standard specifications for track for tack coat prime coat and seal coat along with surface dressing premix carpet should be used in this case an additional surface course is provided on the existing surface when the pavement surface is worn out and develops a poor riding surface in case of poor pavement thickness also resurfacing is provided to strengthen the pavement okay thank you